Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and if you are new to my channel then I am Erin and it is lovely to have you here. This is a bit of an art journaling basics video. I had a subscriber, Nat, hi Nat, ask me if I would do a video about discussing some of the differences between the mediums and the gels that we use in mixed media. So I'm going to talk about matte medium, gesso, heavy gel gloss and molding paste because I think those are the, the main things that, that I would use in my mixed media art journal. So let's start with gesso. Now, gesso is essentially a primer. You put it onto your surface, be that wood or canvas or paper, and you do you lay it on the surface before you add any other paint. And what it does is it seals the surface. So the surface is no longer porous, otherwise the paint will just sink away and you'll use so much paint. So it seals the surface and also it creates a nice tooth for the paint to grip to, but also it the paint flows nicely across the top of the surface as well. So it's really, really lovely. Gesso comes in various different colors. You got it in white, I have it in black. You can get it in other colors and you could also mix acrylic paint in with it too. And then on top of that, you can use acrylics. I use pencil, color pencil, inks, um, water soluble wax crayons, anything like that. And they all react in a unique way with the primer. So that's part of the game. Part of the fun is trying out all your supplies, all your supplies on top of the primer and seeing what you like, what works for you and what doesn't. Now, this gesso in particular, the one I use the most, dries white. So it's really nice. You can use that white as you know a feature of your artwork. For example, how I would use it the most is something like this. So on this page, I have stuck napkins or serviettes. And then what I do is I take my gesso and just sweep it across the page. And what happens is it just kind of allows the serviette and the paper to blend together. You don't know, the edges are, it softens the edges and creates layers. So after I do this, I will put some more paint and then maybe some more gesso and then another kind of paint or more uh, collage material and then sweep some more gesso. And it creates this unity in the piece. So even though you have all different layers of paint and all different layers of collage material, the gesso allows the layers to feel quite unified. I have some process videos of me doing this in my art journal, so I'll link to those in the information box below. One other very important aspect of gesso is that it really works to strengthen your page. Uh, a lot of the times when we're using mixed media in an art journal, we really work that paper. And depending on the quality of your paper, the amount of supplies, paints, mediums that we all lay into it, sometimes you can just see your page disintegrate under your brush. It'll start to pill and tear and the paper just can't take all the stuff we're putting on it. So by putting a lovely thick layer of gesso on first and preparing that page, you really give it extra strength and extra stiffness to take all the things that we're going to do to it. Now the next most common thing that I would use is matte medium. I love matte medium. I think it is amazing stuff. It is essentially an adhesive. Well, you can mix it with your acrylic paint as well to get more flow out of your paint, but I don't really use it that way. I use it as an adhesive for collage, mainly. Anything that I'm gonna stick in my journal, I will stick it in with matte medium. So collage materials especially, uh, when you stick them in with matte medium, you put some matte medium, you stick your collage paper, and then more matte medium over the top. And what that does, is it kind of blends your collage material to your page so it forms one beautiful matte surface. You don't know, you can't feel any ridges or bumps between your paper and your collage material. They're all just beautiful one flat surface which you can then use paint, colour pencil, whatever you like. Let me show you some examples of how I use that. So <clears throat> here, oops, um, here we go, here we go. So for these pages, I have cut out some sewing patterns. So this is sewing pattern paper under here. First I've written on the page and then stuck sewing pattern paper over the top. And uh, then I've used matte medium. So I've used matte medium on the bottom and then matte medium over the top of the paper. And so it's beautifully flat beautifully flat and then I've put inks I think over the top of that 
again, I'll show you another example. This one here is a good one. You can see that. So old book pages, and I've stuck them down with matte medium. It's beautifully flat. You can feel no ridges and bumps between the, the book page and the collage material. It is just beautifully flat and matte. And on top of that, I've worked with color pencils, ink, watercolor inks, all sorts of things. And uh, it's fabulous. It's fabulous matte medium. I love it. It dries, so it dries clear. The next thing that I use is molding paste. So molding paste is, it's a thick gel that creates a beautiful 3D effect. One of the nicest ways to use it is with a stencil. So you get a tool like a palette knife, or in my case, I use a credit card, an old credit card, and you scoop the paste out and then put it over the top of your stencil. And that way you get the most beautiful texture in your work, like this. So this is created with molding, molding paste on a stencil. It's beautiful. It's got a beautiful 3D effect to it. And then I've gone over the top with watercolor. So the molding paste dries sort of clear to white. And it does take a little while to dry. So you need to get your hair dryer or your uh, heat tool in there. And then, yeah, I've gone over the top with watercolor here, but you could use acrylic. And, uh, and here is matte medium as well, where I've put collage paper and there's ink. So I use all of those in one piece. And I will link to the process video for that as well, if you'd like to see how I use that. The last thing that I've got is this lovely stuff, heavy gel gloss. Gel gloss comes in heavy bodied, medium and light, I believe, but I just tend to use heavy gel. It's kind of a, it's almost like it's a bit of matte medium and molding paste but with a gloss finish you it's beautiful for collage you can mix it with other colored acrylics if you want to but i just tend to use it clear you stick your collage papers on the paper and then you also create some kind of 3d effect over the top for example this piece here i've used gel gloss medium and if you can see in the light um oh it's a bit dark there. Um, so I stuck the collage papers down with the gel gloss and it's lovely and flat. But then I've also gone in, I put the gel gloss on nice and thick on top and gone in and scratched in texture patterns with a uh, Davenport mermaid brush tail. I've scraped in the texture patterns. And the finish is beautiful and glossy. And I don't know if you can get the full effect right now, but to see it in real life, it is such a beautiful finish. I mean, it really feels like a gorgeous painting. The way it's all glossy and textured and thick and everything's stuck down really well. So it'd be really good to work on top of with acrylic, let's say. And I've used a little bit of gesso I've, I've mixed in in certain places. So it has layers where it's more white and then parts where it's a lot more clear. It's lovely. It's lovely, lovely stuff. And I can link to that video as well where I've created that page so you can see how I use it. So those are what I would consider to be, you know, the basic tools, the basic mediums that you use when you're doing mixed media art journaling. Now, I would also like to say that each of these things has their own characteristics, their own personalities. And part of the journey of art journaling is to play with all of those and see which ones you love, which ones you respond to. There are, you know, suggested ways to use them. But when you get, I feel that with any art supply that you have and any sort of medium, that it's, it's up to you to push the boundaries of that medium and take it as far as you want to go. Use it with all the different things you can and see how that works for you. See what brings you joy. That is what this game is all about. That's why we art journal. There's kind of, there's rules, but there's also no rules. You do what you feel you want to do next, you know? So that's it. That is my... Uh, our journaling basics on the different mediums that you use. I hope this has been a helpful video and uh, I'd love to hear your feedback. Thank you so much guys. See you later.